Mode set. Executing. What's up gamers? It's your boy CDROM 1019. Welcome back to Curse of Monkey Island. Alright, so we've made it to Blood Island. The ship's in bad shape. Our crew has mutineered. Um, they're getting ready to leave, but they're here repairing the ship. But we're where we need to be. It's time to look around. There's a bottle here. That'll probably come in handy. I think I need to... Yep, there we go. Alright, so... There's this hand lotion here, which we could use, but uh, I don't think Haggis is going to give that to us. Actually, you know what? Why don't I go back there and talk to him about it? Uh, Haggis? Aye. Mutiny's a big step. Uh, are you sure you won't reconsider? I lad, we're all agreed. We'd rather feel the spray of the tangler in our faces than the spray of the ocean. How are the repairs coming? Well, lad, things could be worse. There's plenty of lumber on this island, so we'll be able to repair all the major holes in the hull. We'll also be adding a hardwood dance floor on the Lido deck. Nice. <laughs> hey, it's something we've been talking about for a while. My, that's a big bottle of lotion you have there. That's right, she be. And don't need to be getting any ideas about stealing it. We are sure to be needing it, you see. Carpentry on this tropical climate can and will prematurely age your skin. Tis but one of the many hardships a pirate must face daily during this barbarous age. Aye. And if we pirates didn't carry hand lotion aboard all our ships, we'd probably die from the chafing. <laughs> <laughs> wow, if I were doing a history report on pirates and I included that fact, I'd get an A+. We're talking guaranteed A+. And that A+, just might get you into the college of your choice. Think about it. <laughs> There's no way that I can have even a drop of lotion? Well, maybe we could make a deal. You see, we need to be repairing the ship. She's leaky as a colander. And for some unknown reason, the ship's supplies of tar have been depleted. How the previous crew could set sail without any tar aboard eludes me. But the fact is, unless we get us some tar or something like it, we're doomed to this island for good. Hey. I'd give you the whole bloomin' bottle of lotion if you could find me something to patch the ship so we can be on our way home. Okay, so... I'll let you get back to work. He needs a tar or a tar substitute to get that hand lotion. Let's go looking around this island. We've got work to do. Okay, so... I think there's a clearing here. All right. Elaine looks like she's all right. There's Elaine. Hang on, honey. I'm going to get you out of this mess. All right, so here's where Elaine is, and there's some fireflies here. Those might come in handy. We'll have to come back, though. Nothing we can do about that right now. What's down here? Do I have... All right, I still got a bunch of old stuff here. There's an egg here. I think I can use that. I think there's a, um... No, wait. I really don't want to go in the ocean. I think that if I keep doing this, I can get like an Easter egg here. I really don't want to go in the ocean. I really don't want to go in the ocean. I really don't want to go in the ocean. I really don't want to go. I really don't want to go. I really don't want to go in the. I really don't want to go in the. I really don't want to go in the ocean. Hmm. Maybe I'm wrong. There was a a section. I I'm sure of it. No, it says seawater. Okay. I really don't want to go in the ocean. I really don't want to. I really don't want to go. I really don't want to go. I really don't want to go in the ocean. Those advertisements were no lie. I really don't want to go. I really don't want to go in the ocean. Come on. I really don't want to go in the ocean. I really don't want to go in the ocean. I was sure this is it. I really don't want to go in the ocean. I really don't want to go. I really don't want to go in the ocean. I really don't want to go in the ocean. Darn. All right, hold on. I'm gonna look this up. It's like a little Easter egg callback to uh, the first game. I was sure this is it. I just have to... <clears throat> um... Hang on. Hang on a second.
don't Yeah, this is it. This is the section. I really don't want to go in. Guess the I just got to keep doing it. Oh, there we go. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that guy probably couldn't hold his breath underwater for very long. Too bad. I hope it was worth it for you. <laughs> More than enough, Guybrush. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, let's go into town. Let's go into this hotel here. What's this billboard say? Feel the power of the ancient volcano goddess in Griswold Good Soup presents High Explosive, the most intense showgirl cabaret in the Caribbean. Starring Wilhelmina, temptress of the caldera. Nightly at 7. Hmm. Fascinating. Let's talk to this fortune teller. I feel a dark presence coming over me. Hi there. Ah! Ah! Please, keep it down. No screaming. Oh, my head. I'm Guybrush, and you would be? Hi, I'm Guybrush, and you would be? I am Madame Zima, mistress of the ancient arts, a precognition and augury, diva of divination. Cool, you're a fortune teller. Ah, that and so much more. Whatever, tell me my fortune. I do not think you wish to hear. There are things of which a man is better off being ignorant. Oh, but I'm already ignorant of so many things. I want to know my future. No, you are not meant to know. I bet you just can't do it. That's the problem. You can't do it, and you're afraid everyone will find out you're just a phony. You know, I could put a curse on you that would make every morsel of food you eat become a ravenous cockroach inside your intestines, giving you the most excruciating death imaginable. So are you going to tell me my fortune or not? I'm not kidding. Okay, okay. What's in the cards for me? Fame? Fortune? Romance? Ah, very well. We will consult the cards. The process of reading the tarot is a very complex one. Each draw of the cards foretells an upcoming event in your life. When assembled, they will tell the story of your future. A future filled with twists and... Ah! Good lord, woman. Stop <laughs> that screaming. What is it? Is that a good, ah? Uh... It is death. Well, in the tarot, death just means change, right? I mean, it's nothing to get worried about, right? I uh, sure, whatever you say. Now, please go. Doesn't sound like you're very good at what you do. There must be some mistake. Read my tarot cards again. There is no mistaking your fate, Guybrush. The cards do not lie. But if you insist, once again, it is death. Okay. Give me I'm another. Feeling luckier. Give me another tarot reading. Luck is not involved here, Guybrush. It is your destiny. Whatever. Let's see what the cards say this time. The card says death. Are you sure you're not dealing from the bottom of the deck? Remember that curse I told you about? <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, do it again. Hit me. Death. How many of those cards do you have, anyway? <laughs> eh, one more time. How about giving me one more tarot reading? This is evil work, Guybrush. The fates have conspired against you, and no man can interfere. Your path has been determined. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, I get your point. I really do. Just one more time for Guybrush. <gasps> Let me guess. Death? Leave this place. Huh? 
you are putting us all in grave danger. Your very presence will bring us nothing but sickness, tragedy, and death. Oh, yeah? Well, demon! Demon! Okay. I'll leave, but I'm taking these with me. Look! A three-headed monkey! Ah! Then the prophecies were true! Where? I don't see anything. Hey, must have run away. This is a very bad omen. <laughs> You're not too bright, are you? Alright, so this... Let's see if we can t pick up this guy's tip jar. Leave that alone. And someone kill that man with a jackhammer. Okay. Sounds like this guy's not doing so hot. Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood and I'm... Stop yelling. I wasn't yelling, I was just... Oh, I've got a terrible hangover. Find something to clear my head and I can talk to you. And keep it down. Okay, well, we'll come back to him later. He's suffering a terrible hangover. Can we open this door? We can. Big block of cheese. Can I open the fridge? Yeah, I really don't want to know what's in there. I could use this magnet. Can I open the fridge? Yeah, I really don't nope. want to okay. know what's in there. Okay, uh, we'll have to come back. Let's go for now. Alright. The cemetery. Actually, let's go to this, um, this windmill over here. We need to combine- we need to make a, uh, a hangover cure for the, uh, for the bartender. There's some peppers here. Those will help. Let's pick up one of those. Can I open this door? It's locked. Nope. Okay. We'll have to come back. There's a barrel here. I think something's in that barrel. Um, let's see. I got a pepper. Uh, some tools are around here that I need. Let me go back to the shipwreck. Hmm. I'm gonna need some tools. Just don't remember where to get them. All right, let's go look around the cemetery. Sorted coffins. Ah, recycling bin. Recycled tools. Let's look at these tools. Oh, here's a mallet and a chisel. I could use that. Okay, those will come in handy. Um, need to put something in this dog's bowl, but I don't have it yet. All right, let's leave here and go back to the cemetery now that I got a mallet. Oh, not the cemetery, I'm sorry. I meant, oh, I could go straight to here, that's interesting. Go back to the beach. So for those of you that don't know, the old, uh, the eight old, age old uh, saying for a hangover is uh, a pepper, an egg, and a hair of a dog that bit you. So we've got a pepper. Let's see if we can hit the this. Would break when it hit the ground. Right. I need a pillow. Um, all right. Let's go to the hotel. Go up the stairs. Okay, one of these doors opens. Was it this one? Yep. Hmm. Ah, there's a nail here. I can't pull it in. Um. Oh, I can't pull it in, but I could probably knock it out. Yep. Okay. It's a bunch of old portraits of the Van Salad family. <laughs> Van Salad. Uh, examine the porthole. 
I can see the hallway. It's already open. Okay, well. Okay, so that knocked out the painting. I can take this nail. And I'm going to need this portrait. Hmm. I'd better get rid of this incriminating picture frame. <laughs> Love how that works. What? <laughs> okay, let's open this door. It's locked. Okay. Hmm. Got a hammer and nail. I'm pretty sure I need to get in that door. I don't suppose I can. I can't jimmy the door lock with that. What can I jimmy this door lock with? Oh, and I remember now. I can. Okay, I'll come back again. I forgot that I still had this biscuit. Um, I can go in here now and use the chisel on this block of cheese. All right, there we go. We got a nice big chunk of cheese. Okay, let's move over here for a second. There is a pot over this barbecue that's not lit. I'll put a little bit in here. I'll just use some of the cheese here. Okay, we'll come back to that. Okay, back to the cemetery. Let's take some of this smelly dog here. Okay, fella, this won't hurt a bit. Hey, I guess it didn't hurt a bit. He must be shedding. Okay. It's not good enough unless he bit us, though. So let's give him this biscuit. Ow, he bit me. Okay, that's two ingredients. We still need something to cushion the landing for that, um... That, uh, egg. I can't see anyone in there right now. It's locked tight. All right, forget that. Okay, nothing else we can do here. Um, let's go up to the strange lights. This village is deserted. How curious. This seems vaguely familiar. Oh boy, the Cannibal Islanders. You look familiar somehow. Perhaps it's because I look like a big lemon. Oh yeah, <laughs> but it's more than that. We've met before, back on Monkey Island. Ah, uh, Monkey Island. We had a nice village there. Rent-controlled huts close to the good schools. Those were the salad days, so to speak till they put in that darned carnival. Carnival? Yes, carnival. Just as soon as they put up the first tent, whoosh, the whole place becomes trendy. Sailors coming in at all times of the night, that awful music droning on and on. And to be honest with you, I think the Midway games are rigged. Yeah, yeah. At night, it wasn't safe for a cannibal to walk the island alone. So the cannibals were on Monkey Island, but they left when the carnival came in. Cannibals? You say that like it's a bad thing. Well, it's true. But we are no longer vicious and bloodthirsty cannibals. No? No. We underwent a paradigm shift in our belief system several years ago. A paradigm shift? You don't say. 
We decided we wanted to live a healthy cannibal lifestyle, completely cut back on our fatty missionary intake and went vegetarian altogether. But there certainly was a time I would have eaten you. <clears throat> Young guy like you, not too much muscle. Hey. I'd probably marinate you in white wine for 45 minutes, dip you in a light corn batter, wrap you in banana leaves and bury you in a pit with a hundred hot coals, let you roast overnight. Then I'd serve you on a bed of basmati rice with a garnish of shiitake mushrooms and shallots. <laughs> but not anymore, right? <sighs> but, but not anymore, right? Huh? Oh, yeah, right, right. Nice village nice you, have. you have. Thanks. It's not much, but we call it home. We've been doing our best to capture the classic charm of a headhunter village, while at the same time incorporating all the modern conveniences brought to us by the European explorers. You may have noticed our first state-of-the-art bloodletting clinic, which has been cleverly designed to look like a traditional shaman's hut. How quaint. Yes, we think so. Uh... Do you live in fear of the fruit fly menace? Not since I switched to a Malathion-based cologne. Very alluring. Thank you. Do they hassle you when you go through customs? You have no idea. Okay. I am Guybrush. Boy, am I getting tired of saying this. Threepwood. Mighty pirate, yada yada yada. I am Lemonhead. Can I help you with something? Aren't you afraid the volcano will destroy your village? The volcano? Oh, no. Mount Acidopolis is completely harmless. We have curried favor with Sherman, the all-powerful god of the volcano. The god of the volcano likes spicy foods? Shut up, or I'll eat you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when we first landed on this island, the volcano god was most upset. Belching out smoke, vomiting up lava. It was disgusting, really. And potentially hazardous. We knew we had to do something to pacify the Volcano God, and we assumed a good sacrifice would do the trick. A reasonable assumption. But when we threw the sacrifice into the Volcano, Mount Acidophilus erupted violently. We thought Sherman was upset at us, so we started making sacrifices every day. We tried everything. Fish, poultry, livestock, phenylalanine. The usual. Then one day, we tried Bree. There was a huge eruption that nearly killed us all. What happened? Sherman is lactose intolerant. Ah, uh, it all makes sense now. Now, Sherman is on a very strict diet. He only gets fresh fruit, vegetables, and of course, soy products for the proteins so important to muscle building. Stand aside, I mean to visit the volcano. I'm afraid I cannot allow that. Our ritual offering is about to begin. Terrific, I'm fascinated by your quaint tribal customs. Postcards and slides are available in the lobby. Non-cannibals are forbidden from witnessing the actual ceremony. That's so unfair. Tell it to the volcano gods. I don't make the rules, you know. When does the ceremony begin? It was supposed to have started half an hour ago. Even now, members of my village are preparing a human-like sacrifice for the volcano god. Human-like? Due to the delicate nature of the volcano god's digestion, we can't actually feed him real humans. So we sacrifice a human substitute. It doesn't really taste like a human, but it has a similar texture. So what's the holdup? We're still waiting for our featured guest. Who's your featured guest? He's an ambassador from one of the other islands. It's all part of a new cannibal outreach program between the villages. Apparently not all villages are as punctual as ours. Uh, I'll help you find him. What does he look like? I don't know. He should be dressed for the ceremony. And he'd better be a vegetarian. We specifically asked for a vegetarian. Hmm. Okay. Gotta run. Bye. So, we learned two things from this. Apparently the volcano god is lactose intolerant. And they're waiting for an ambassador from another island who apparently must be a vegetarian. So if we look at this, um, if we look at this table here, this banquet table. Ooh, a measuring cup. I could use that. I think I need this auger, too. All right. So if we look at this table, there's a block of tofu here, which is technically vegan. All right. So, I think we need to use the auger with this? That looks like a mask. There we go. And let's put on the mask. Ick. Perfect. All right. 
Now we're walking around with a tofu mask. Let's go back up the mountain. <clears throat> Finally, you're here. Come on, we're late for the sacrifice. God of the volcano who resides in Mount Acidopolis! Accept this sacrifice we make unto you! In the form of flesh, with high amounts of fiber and wholesome cellulose, free of all fat and trans fatty acids, so that it might nourish you and bring your favor upon our humble village, and not upset nor agitate your ulcerative caldera. Okay, boys, toss him in. You've been a wonderful audience. Thank you, and good night. Okay, the ceremony's complete. They're just gonna chill around here roasting marshmallows, but I say we cause a little bit of chaos. Let's upset this alleged uh, lactose intolerant volcano god. You fool! You've given cheese to a lactose intolerant volcano god. Do you know what that means? You brought about the coming of the divine dysentery. Run for your lives! <laughs> Yeah, I guess that thing he said was true. Hey, it melted our cheese. Okay. Wow, that was more spectacular than I'd hoped. All right, well, that happened. Let's leave. So, I still need... Hmm... Still need something to uh, catch this egg in. Hmm. All right, well, let's do one thing at a time. Let's go uh, grab our new melted cheese here. drag this down to Haggis now. Here, Haggis. This stuff should work to patch up the ship. Aye, laddie, indeed it should. The consistency of tar, but with a tangy pepper taste. So, can I have your lotion now? Aye, lad. Go ahead and take it. Okay, we can take the bottle of lotion. Okay, that'll come in handy later. Um, let's leave here. <laughs> so we don't need to go back to the village, but there's still stuff to do in this hotel. I've got to get this egg. Ah, that's right. I remember now. All right, so one of these cushions should be loose. Here we go. Let's take up this cushion. All right, now we can leave. Okay, to the beach. Let's use this cushion over here with these rocks. All right, and then hit this rubber tree. Okay. Items received. Let's head back to the hotel. Hey, bartender, got some stuff for you. Here's a wild pepper for your hangover remedy. Shh. Thanks. Okay, and here's an egg. I found this egg for your hangover remedy. Shh. Thanks. And hair from a dog that bit me. This is some of the hair of the dog that bit me. Shh. Thanks. That's all the ingredients I need. Let me quietly mix up a dose. Ah, much better. 
Here, you can take the rest. Wow, that must be strong stuff. All right, who are you, sir? I don't sir? believe we've met. Who are you? I am Griswold, last of the good soups and proprietor of this hotel. You may have heard of us and our soup restaurant resort empire that stretches across the Caribbean. Well... Oh, this was once our proudest resort, uh, but it lost all its popularity after the regular eruptions of Mount Essendopolis stopped. The volcano has erupted! Yes, I know! The Good Soup Empire is saved! Well, I'm happy for you. Soon the resort will be flooded with tourists coming to see the volcano. And I can finally put on the show I was working on the last time we had guests. What show is that? Voulez-vous Vicious Soise? A dramatic <laughs> musical about a talented young Parisian soup chef who is cruelly taken down by the Paris culinary establishment for her revolutionary ideas about soup preparation. I'm sure it'll be a big hit. Okay, let's see. I would like, a, like drink, a drink, please. please. Sure. What will you have? Okay, so this is this question matters more in the Mega Monkey mode. I need to get um. Normally he'll just say, "Hey, don't like you can order anything," and he'll get an umbrella. But in this one, I need to get the fruity drink with the Give umbrella me a in it. Big fruity drink with an umbrella in it. Good choice. It's a delicious taste of the islands, made with lemon, grapefruit, and ground beef. Hey, don't I get one of those decorative umbrellas to go in my tropical drink? Um, I don't think we have any. No, I'm wrong. I do have this one. Uh, okay. <laughs> Thanks. All right, so. Kids, don't do this at home. Drugs and alcohol do not mix. Don't ever do this. But... The bottle's closed. <sighs> right. Childproof caps? I can't open it. Uh, yeah. Okay, I forgot about that. Um, that doesn't need to be augured. Hmm. What was the solution to this? That opened it. Oh, okay, the chisel. Cool. <laughs> All right. Again, don't do this at home. Thank you, but my head is completely clear now. Not you. You keep the rest. I wasn't trying to give it to you. That makes the drink oh so much more appealing. Okay. I spiked it. It just occurred to me that mixing medicine and alcohol is a really stupid and possibly lethal thing to do. If I were a real person instead of a lovably inept cartoon character with the potential for a few more sequels, I wouldn't even consider it. Skull. <laughs> That's odd. It's supposed to cause drowsiness. I don't feel the least bit drowsy. In fact, I, uh... In fact, I feel, uh... <laughs> <laughs> so then the Undertaker says, I wanted to be a pallbearer, but I couldn't stop coughing. Oh, 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 you crack me up, Mort. So what's with the new guy? Oh, he's been like that for an hour now. Passed out cold. He'll come around. I don't know. I'm pretty sure he's dead. Hmm. I guess that's the end of the game, then. What with him being the main character and all? Funny. I didn't think you could die in LucasArts Adventure <laughs> Games. Well, maybe they're trying Meta. something different. When I should take care of him? Would you? It's bad for business having him just lie there. Rest in peace and all that. <laughs> hey. Eight zero banner points. I'm not really dead. Come on, cut it out. All right. So, we're in this uh, box here. We got to get out. Let's use this chisel. There we go. 
All right, these nails might come in handy. Yikes. Where's that telltale pounding coming from? It's coming from within one of these coffins. From the dead. The dead that surround me. They must know my horrible secret. They'll never let me rest until I've paid for the wrongs I've committed against. Wait a second, I don't have a horrible secret. Okay, let's take out these nails. Okay. Go into the light. <laughs> I can't open it. Well, let's see if we can open this coffin. to be finally out of that thing even though it was a spacious comfortable model with plenty of leg and uh, headroom well hello there say you look familiar uh yes well uh... of course guy brush threepwood you're the one who locked me in there in the first place well you see i've been meaning to no no i won't hear of it that was the best time of my life gave me plenty of time to think you know to think about the things that really matter I don't know if you've considered this, son, but live burials are not an altogether uncommon experience here in the Caribbean. I wasn't aware of that. Not to mention pirate raids and deadly sea battles, huge man-eating reptiles, dangerous quicksand pits, trigger-happy duelists, and of course, those pesky undead. Have you ever thought of what would happen to your loved ones should this gruesome fate befall you? No, but... but... Well, of course, you have plenty of time to think about it. Or do you? I'm one of the lucky ones. I've been dead. It's given me a whole new perspective on life. A life that I'm going to devote to making sure people's life insurance needs are met. Here, take one of my business cards I've had made up. If you've been locked in that coffin, how are you able to have business cards made? Now's not the time to worry about the technicalities, son. Now's the time to ask yourself, are you covered? Run along now and let me set up my office. Mm -hmm. We're trapped in here. The door's locked. Nonsense. This is one of Stan's cozy crypts, all equipped with a patented secure lock release mechanism. Just jiggle the handle there. All right. It's Stan. Everyone loves Stan. All right. So we'll come back to him. So, let's go back in here. Hi, guys. I guess you'll be wondering how I came to be back from the dead. No questions for the dead guy come back to life? No questions like, is there life after death or is there a heaven? Will there be adequate parking? Fine. Be that way. I wouldn't tell you about the hereafter if you begged me. Ah, tough crowd. All right, so, let's mess with this bartender. I think that I can... Oh, yeah. First of all, I need to use these scissors on this picture. There, I've cut out the face. And I think that I can swap the face with the mirror. Yep. You just stole that mirror, didn't you? No, I didn't. It's right there. Look. Hmm. I guess you're right. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm starting to look old. It's from all that drinking. Mind your own business. Yeah, bartender's not too bright. All right. There's an empty jar here. That jar's for my tips. Put it back. But I was going to put a whole lot of money in it. Too much for me to carry around with me. So I'm going to have to take it with me and fill it up. Oh, okay then. Okay, so I need to... Uh, um, I thought that I have... I have the tip jar. The mirror, the umbrella nails. I thought that I need something to... Something sweet to put in there, but I... I'll probably have to come back to that. So, let's mess around with this guy a little more. So, let's put this here. Nice. Let's open the door. And let's look out the porthole. 
Oh, there's nothing like family. No matter what may happen in the topsy-turvy world of the Caribbean resort business, I can always relax in the knowledge that I come from good, wealthy stock. Breeding. That's what's important. Breeding and culture. Just like Grandfather Lambert. Breeding, culture, and lots and lots of really old money. It makes a man proud. It's funny. I don't remember Grandfather Lambert as looking so... so common. Mm. Oh, weird. It's like his eyes follow me. Pictures like that really creep me out. <laughs> Not too bright, is he? All right, let's go. Let's leave then. And can I jimmy this door with this chisel? I can't jimmy the door lock with that. <sighs> okay. Oh, the business card, though. There we go. I guess I'm better at this pirating thing than I thought. It worked. Okay, let's go inside. Take a look around this room. It's so musty that I don't want to open it up. I'm sure there's nothing in there except one of those hotel Bibles. All right. Let's pull down the bed, I guess. Ooh. That guy hasn't had a good time. This bed is so old that it will go back up if we're not careful, so let's nail it down. I'm not sure if that's strong enough to hold it. I might need one more... Oh, I happen to have one more nail. Uh, yep, right here. There, the bed has been nailed down. That ought to do it. Okay. Now that I can take some time here, let's take this book. What is this book? The Good Soups, A Life in Pictures by M.M. M. Good Soup. Ah, yes. Okay, so I need that book to talk to uh, the bartender. Okay, let's leave. We'll come back to this later. All right, let's have a conversation with the bartender about family. What uh, do you know about the lost ring of Blood Island? Oh, that's a very sad chapter in my family's history. My great aunt, Minnie Stroney Goodsoup, was a well to do member of Blood Island society. Her one weakness was her romantic nature. She had a thing for pirates. One in particular. He came into port, she fell instantly in love, and they were engaged within the week. Then, on the eve of their wedding, he stole the fantastic Good Soup diamond from her ring and sold it to smugglers on Skull Island. She wore the empty engagement band on her finger until the day she died, which was not long after. Some say she still haunts the Good Soup family too. It is a sad story, is it not? Hmm? Oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. Uh, could you repeat that? Get lost, Chowderhead. <laughs> okay, um... I thought if I died, I'd be buried with your aunt. Well, isn't it obvious? You can't be buried in the Good Soup family crypt unless you're a member of the Good Soup family. Oh, yeah, that makes member sense. Of the family, huh? Well, I mean... Don't you Uncle recognize Griswold, me? It's me. Don't you recognize me? Recognize you? I've never seen you before in my life. What is your name? Uh, why? <laughs> Hearty beef and potato, vegetable. <laughs> vegetable. Vegetable? I'm from California. Hmm. I don't recall having any relatives with that name. Well, look at me. Look at me. Don't I look just like a good soup? Now that you mention it, you do bear a slight resemblance to my great-grandfather, C. Lambert Goodsoup. Clammy? Why, folks back home used to tell me all the time. You're the spitting image of old Chowder Goodsoup. You know, I think you're right. Uh, I wonder why I didn't see it before. Uh, let's see. I could talk about I the history all day. I could talk about Goodsoup history all day. How about that first fateful journey made to the Caribbean? Oh, you mean the one that... 
Baron Salmon Bisque de Good Soup began in 1621? Exactly. He landed on Scab Island with just a spoon and a dream. In just four short years, he had formed the largest chain of all soup restaurants in the Western Hemisphere. By 1635, he had driven the entire Van Salad family out of the Caribbean and had a restaurant empire. Uh, let's see. Van hold that thought, Lowe. folks. Okay, sorry about that. Had somebody at my door. Actually, the Van Salads were not driven out until 1637, and the good soup chain of restaurants and resorts never did become popular in the South Pacific. Yes, we are. All right, whatever. Well, son, it looks like you were right. Welcome back to the glorious name of good soup. I'm, uh, honored. And as a good soup, you're welcome to every benefit the name provides. Instant prestige around Blood Island. A 10% discount at any of the good soup resorts in the Caribbean. And, of course, medical, dental, and a 401k. <laughs> and the best thing of all, if you should happen to drop dead, you will be buried in the extravagant good soup family crypt. It's as if all my dreams have come true. All right. We've made it back into the Good Soup family, quote-unquote. All right, this is actually a good place to stop. When we come back, more things to do around the island and getting closer to finishing this game. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Make sure you check out the rest of the videos on the GSL YouTube channel. Check out officialytr.com slash forums for more fun and myself at twitch.tv slash chaoscontrolchannel. Until next week's episode, folks, take care. Bye-bye.